Cowboys tend to use Keanu Neal. My thing is close around the box, down inside. Hey, if he want to play the weak side, he can do that. Blitzing. Bring him upfield and just penetrate. That's what I want him to do, and that's what he did on this play. And you got to have a level of skills to do this, too. My thing is we do have a free safety on this team out of Donovan Wilson. And I know a lot of people like to go back and forth with me and say, well, he's more of a strong safety. But when I turn on the tape, you see that he played majority of his snaps as the high safety. And I believe that Donovan Wilson got the vision and the instinct to play that particular role. And I'll explain why later. Nevertheless, these are the things that I don't want to see Keanu Neal do. I don't want to see him playing all the way back out in space. His reads are kind of slow, and he's delayed on that. His back pedal is not that great as well. It's just that sometimes the ball be out in space, and he lose track of the ball. He just lose sight of the ball. He's not that ball hawk guy. And one can argue that there's nothing wrong with that, but in this day and style of football, you need somebody to have a little coverage ability. But this is what I like. I like this right here. Come down and feel. Fill the hole. Make sure that you stop the opposing team from getting inside. I, I like seeing that. I love seeing this right here, Cowboy Nation. Being able to spot check, get inside, make a play, save a touchdown, be that enforcer. Uh, on this play, I'm not able to show it due to uh, copyrights. But I, I can tell you guys. You don't want to see Keanu Neal lined up against Amari Cooper. It was nightmarish. It was very nightmarish. And on, on top of that, Amari Cooper made him his baby. And Amari Cooper tend to do that to anyone. So this is a two or really three deep look because all three of these guys are going to drop. When you look at it, Amari Cooper, they line him out. They motion number 80 back inside. And they flexed him back inside. And he just takes it up the field. And... He kills him. He kills him off for this route. And unfortunately, I'm not able to show you guys at all. But Amari Cooper versus Neil. And this was a big play for a chunk game, you know. He ain't lying. At the top of the route, Amari Cooper opens him up and flips his hips and turns Keanu Neal the wrong way. He actually turned his back towards Amari Cooper. And the rest is history from here. It's a big chunk play. And my thing is Keanu Neal guessing on where the route will be. It's just an epic fail. He didn't think that Amari Cooper was going to cut back inside. He thought that he had leverage on the field. He had two of his contemporaries here to cover that part of the field. And he thought that Amari Cooper was going to go this way. It was a big play. He did manage to turn around and get the tackle there. But in the largelyhood of it, it was just an epic mistake by Keanu Neal. And it's one of those things where that's not his strong suit covering out in space is a, a detriment tool. So I like him closer around the line of scrimmage. I also like Keanu Neal versus tight ends opposed to shifty wide receivers or wide receivers in general. And I think that that would suit him better, being close to the LOS or covering the tight end down the field. So, and he kills him. He kills him, literally kills him out there on the field. All right, so let's look into the... Uh, let's look into the actual Donovan Wilson. You see him at the top here. He's the high safety. Of course, he's lined up on this side right here. And, and the other guy, number 25, he's lined down. And basically, when you plan primarily two deep safety, look, nine times out of ten, your two deep safeties pretty much are at the free row because you plan so deep away. You're off the ball. You, you wave off the ball. You can see everything that's coming in front of you. And basically, you are designed to take away the pass. You got to have some level of instincts, too. And you'll see that out of Donovan Wilson. Let's just hit play and play this thing all the way through. And watch out. He reads everything. Too deep look. Follow track the ball. INT. He got range. He got instincts for the ball. I like his skill set. And I always talk about complementary pieces. I talk about these things time to time because you want continuity and defense is one movement, right? You want to be able to be on the same page. And that is what I believe if you just find a way to continue to help grow this defense as it relates to the secondary, you will see more and more things like this. You see, you see Donovan at the top right here. He's going to just jump this route, take the ball away. I love seeing this out of this kid. 
he primarily lined up majority of his time at the single high or at the top high. And there's nothing wrong with that, being the high safety, being able to see the entire field. He got some subtle speed about him. I like that. He got charisma. And this is going to be contagious. Look, on this play, two deep look, with the, as it relates to the safety, he makes a play on the ball, come down and field. That's what you want your safety to do. And he exhibit that. And he sure can come down and lay the wood. So now we got a combination of both. You got somebody that can play on the weak side as well as play inside the box. And now you got a guy that can roam free as it relates to Donovan Wilson. I believe he's going to bring that type of temperament to the game. I know that some people have their reservations, and there's nothing wrong with that. And in a pinch, if the Cowboys do decide to go pick up a Malik Hooker, you can still kick Donovan down inside. Donovan got those type of skills there. Look how close he is to the LOS here. Squeezes off the side. Bam! Make the quarterback his baby. You can substitute the B word for another B word if you want. I like seeing this. I, I, I like versatile, flexible safeties. And I believe that the, the, the roster that we have now is a little bit more versatile. Here's Donovan at the top. He's a top safety here. He's going to climb a little bit, fall back. Make sure he covers that run spot and come down for run support. That is what Donovan brings to the table, and that is what I believe a combination of what we will see from Neil and Donovan. And I'm really hoping that maybe you can get Donovan to play a little bit closer and you can pick up a Malik Hooker. I think that from the mindset, the mindset, it will be better because – Malik Hooker, he can play that top role, and Donovan can play a little bit down inside, or vice versa. If we get a Kazi, he can play that top role, that top free safety role, and you can get Donovan down inside. I think that from a mental mindset, that those guys are a little bit better, and I'm not trying to throw 25 under the bus or in front of it. I think that their mindset it will be a little bit better when it's time to come down and feel or have cutback responsibilities. I like what they're doing so far. Is it one of the best moves of all time? No, but it's a solid move, and we will really be able to adjust this thing once the draft kick in. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you guys feel of everything that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. Impressive.